Hi everyone, this is the tutorial for Still Got It Bad. My name's Billy from Piano and Pies. Let's get stuck straight in. We have a capo on fret number one for this song to make it the easiest to play. If you're in need of a capo, there is a link in the description to buy one. It's the same as I use and it's pretty cheap. So let's dive in with the first four chords of the song that we need to get through the beginning. Now, there's an E minor chord. Now E minor has an open E string. This is in reference to the capo. 2-2 two, two on the A and D strings, and then 0 on the remaining strings. We're going to talk about strumming and how long we strum for in just a moment. The second chord we need is a G major chord, which is 3 on the top string, 2 on the A string, 0-0-0, zero, 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 and a 3 on the high E string. The next chord we need, D major, which is an open D string, 2 on the G, three on the B and two on the high E string, followed by the fourth chord, C major, which is three on the A string, two on the D, zero on the G, one on the B, and an open E string. Now those four chords are gonna get us through the first part of the song, and we sustain the chords, which just means to let them ring out, like this. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. We play those chords two times round to get the first part of the song before there is this little kind of small one bar break, which is just an E minor chord. Okay, so now we get to the catchy part. This is where things become a little bit more lively. And we're gonna take the same chords, but just jumble them up a little bit. Um, I'll demonstrate and then we'll go over the rhythm for it. So we have C, E minor, G, D. Those chords repeat. So we play C to E minor, G to D major. But what we do, we jump early to the E minor and the D chord, so the second and fourth chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we, that's called anticipation in music, so we just jump a little bit early. In terms of strumming, slowly we have So that's down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Now there's a lot going on there, so I advise just, you know, skipping back and getting used to playing along with that strumming pattern. Because, yeah, really lots of ups and downs going on there. However, if you play those sets of chords three times round, and then go for a fourth attempt, but only play the first two chords, C and E minor, and then stop, you get the full chorus. Now, it's worth mentioning that there's a few different sections in this song. We're going to talk about that in just a moment. However, if you'd like the PDFs of the chord charts and the chords in the lyrics matching up for songs like this, then head on over to Patreon. There's a link in the description, just a couple of dollars, and you can get everything wrote out professionally, and it saves you from writing anything out and potentially making a mistake. So check that out. So we then have a post chorus where they start kind of laring and just do a few a few extra kind of uh, pass to pad out the song. And uh, that is thankfully just the same as the chorus, which is the C, E minor, G, D. Play all of that four times round to get the post chorus section. We then have a second verse. Thankfully, that's exactly the same as the first verse, which starts the song, but we play it two more times just like they do. We then have a second verse, which is the same as the start of the song. So we're playing the E minor for four, G for four, D for four, and C major for four. And we play that round two times. We then get another chorus, and that chorus is the same as the first chorus. C, E minor, G, D. Play that three times, and then on that fourth time, play C, E minor, and then stop. So yeah, it's probably worth checking out that Patreon link just so you get everything spot on because that chorus might catch you out. However, there is then a post chorus which is the last part of the song and we take the same chords as the chorus and play it eight times. So C, E minor, G and D. Do that eight times and you get the final part of the song. So that's everything you need to get through this song. And um, if you're interested in getting everything on Patreon, like I said, there's a link in the description. I'd also like to say thanks to the people on the screen. They'll get this the moment this video goes live. So yeah, they get that, plus their name on the screen and a bunch of other perks. So thanks to those guys for supporting me. 
Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.